Okay, it's time to wrap this up with the critical score ranking. We're going to rate Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes out of 10 in seven more categories. Plot, character, dialogue, performance, visual, sound, and genre realization. Here we want to determine how good a movie was, and so we do take the age into consideration. We have two minutes per category. First is plot. Plot is a sequence of events which takes place in the narrative. Do they make sense? Are the stakes high enough? Were there any surprises? We have two minutes to agree on a rating out of 10. Go. Okay, you were going to bring something up earlier. Was it under plot? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. So what were your surprises? You I said have, there were a couple of surprises. There are two moments specifically in this film yeah. which I, I was like, that was sick. One, the one which was the lesser, was the fight between Proximus and Noah when he calls the eagles. Yeah. The eagle moment I thought was really good. Did you not think that was a little predictable? It was predictable, but I still yeah. liked it. It was one where I, I felt I, I was invested. I was like, okay. I knew he was going to do it. Yeah, I was. Really you weren't right. a fan. I, I mean, it was okay. I liked it. Yeah. I, I liked it when it started happening. It just felt like, like the minute that he messed up the song at the start, I was like, right, so about 10 minutes before the end, he's going to sing it properly and he's going to win the fight. Yeah, for way. sure. And that's not good plot writing for me. Fair <laughs> enough. All right, so it wouldn't come into plot. Now this, though. <laughs> Go on. Oh, all right. There is a scene, the best scene in the film yeah. where they as the the characters they've decided that they need to go into this this area that they're trying to get which is the the bunker with all of the human technology they ally with may the human uh noah and his friends end up helping her out they set up some explosives they're going to get to a point where they're going to sneak in in the middle of the night that's the setup now there's another human at proximus's ranch he comes along in the middle of the night and he basically lets them know he's going to rat on them and, and says, you've, you've missed your chance, whatever. So you're thinking, how's this going to play out? Are they going to get him inside? What's going to happen? And May just jumps up behind him and strangles him to death. Just straight up murders somebody. <laughs> and it was fucking incredible. <laughs> I do not get what he's... I was like, what the shit They've is... They've just gone straight down the road of murder. And all of the apes are like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> she just and yeah, also okay. I gotta say it's not just the fact that she murders him they literally give like the the Anthony, Anton Chigurh no country for old men behind the neck crack yeah, 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 and they okay. want the whole sequence of her choking the life out of him alright <laughs> 10 <laughs> there is no way no, okay. the it's, one it's murder but I will I will concede that was a great moment. Uh, other moment I forgot was actually when she had a gun at the end where I was like, oh shit, she was going to fucking axe him. Only if she had to. Yeah, but I think she went there to do it and then she's like, actually, no, I'm not going to. Really? Yeah, yeah, she wouldn't like... Oh, I thought she just did it in case he tried to kill her. Um, what are we going to rate it? I, I I actually don't think it deserves any like an eight. I don't think no, it, no. So, eights are, are, are great. We, it, we, we've moved on from No one's going to be though. talking about the... The Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes plot like it was some fucking outlier. No, I think did the world building... Okay, I liked the Does world, world building. world building come under anything other than plot? I think the visual elements, yes, but I think for the actual... Some of the decisions... It has to come under But plot. then also there's the element of... But plot is the sequence happen. of events. Yeah, and also we, we agreed that... <laughs> It probably shouldn't have happened that way because they shouldn't be in that position. There being a lot of problems with a plot doesn't by default make it bad, it more detracts from it. You know what, I would go seven. There are bits that I really liked. There were some some issues with it, but I didn't hate it. Oh, I don't know whether to, to put it down to a six or not. Well, it's your call. You've got mine. If you go lower, we oh. will go lower. Let me have a look at the other sevens. It's one seven, and it's Alien. Alien. And then Space Odyssey Crouching Tiger got sixes. Like, are you going to tell me that it's better than them? Like, like, I don't think it really is, is it? No. Okay. And I don't think it's got anything on Aliens plot. It was There was less wrong with it than the Exorcist plot. I reckon six, then. All right, we'll go with a big fat six. Nice. That took us five minutes. Character. Next, we have character. Character is a collection of beings within the narrative. We have two minutes to agree on a rating out of ten. Go. Proximus Caesar, May... Raka and Noah. Those are the four characters in this film. <laughs> there are no other characters. And there's some eagles. No other characters. There's some eagles which are apparently fish or yeah, something. Yeah, there was a guy who got fucking <laughs> choked to death. great. May, not terrible, but mm -hmm. not good. Um, Raka, good. Noah, okay. You know what, what actually, I need to remember. So characters are different to performance. Yeah. 
and also performed. I, I really like Proximus as a character. Like, he's pretty I, good. I really he's like interesting. Kind of... I preferred his performance to his character, though, for sure. Yeah, but I mean, if you just think of him to, as in terms of this kind of like enlightened ape that's taken control of a civilization and then is like, you know what I mean? Like in the position of the world, he's quite an interesting. Maybe. I think neutral. it's slightly, but I, I wouldn't say he's like great. I okay. think it's as a performance, great. Uh, character you know what i think absolute max this could be a seven uh because seven would put it in line with princess bride space odyssey yeah, super princess bad. bride is eight i reckon oh, right, okay i reckon this is a six don't you reckon i reckon that's a six yeah, yeah. character character bad. certainly Some wasn't good one. stand out okay dialogue <laughs> Next this we have, is great. No, <laughs> next we have dialogue. The line, dialogue is the line spoken between the characters. We have two minutes to agree on a rating out of ten. Go. It's been so long since we've done like a non-classic, which we can give good, like yeah. bad scores to and not feel bad about. Yeah, it's had a six and a six so far. Yeah, we like that was fair. You gave it a seven point eight on gut feel, and I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. It was good. Okay, um, dialogue. Yeah. Okay, I'll give it this. It wasn't terrible. No, you know what I mean. Like, and it could it wasn't easily have been. Bad. It could easily have been. Yeah, yeah. I think it was. <laughs> I think we might be looking at another six. I here. think we might have a god. This is very six. Very uh, sexy film. Yeah, yeah. it's a sexy film. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a <laughs> South right. African sexy film. <laughs> <laughs> or Kiwi. I like how much quicker we, we should instead of doing two minutes on everything, we should do five on plot. And then, like, one on sound and visuals. <laughs> oh, we've got some good ones in it. it performance, yeah. though. Okay, so... Da, 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 performance. Next, we have performance. We have two minutes to agree on a rating out of ten. Go. Uh, I would say... You know what? It gets the mocap buff, because anyone doing mocap, you know, that's... It's a deserves tough, a greater deserves. score for that massive, difficult element of your performance. Yeah, so... And, and to be honest, I enjoyed... All of the apes, I think, all the performances. Noah's a bit of a yeah. boring character, but I thought it's not a performance issue. No, I thought he did. I did, thought he did good. I know that you don't like that that scene supposedly with the Wah! but that was more writing. That wasn't. Performance. Yeah, I think he was still. Yeah, he was still that was more, I thought that he, was plot. he definitely built hype because I was hyped. Um, yeah, he did fine. You know what? It's a at least seven. It's the only one. Not an eight. The only one who I'm like. Yeah, on is May. There's no way it's an A. Like it's oh, not going to be a eights. movie to remember eights. for performances. Yeah, it's maybe not great. Eight is great. Okay, we've got a lot of performances: Full Metal Jacket, Princess Bride, The Thing, Chinatown, Psycho, Apocalypse Now. It's definitely not. Yeah, probably not quite. I think a level. seven is a seven. Good score seven's for fine. It. Cool. Yeah, happy with seven. Great job, guys. And we did that in just, just we, a minute. We might have pulled that off in a minute, so we can stick that as a short. Nice. Yeah. Visuals. Uh, Talk to me. Okay. Next we have visuals, CGI, costume, makeup, and cinematography. Oh, you know what? After reading that. Okay. We have two minutes to agree on a rating out of 10. Go. CGI, ridiculous. Makeup, what is going on? <laughs> what, the mascara? Why have they put mascara on somebody? It's good mascara, though. Also. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. That's what's so, wrong with so it. So it's a good <laughs> she score? Looked, she looked way too good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, honey <laughs> you look way too good darling honey you look fabulous uh right visuals well it's gonna be good here isn't I it i feel like you know what and we all right the let's question remember for me is, does remember it... we don't take year into account no we do take age into account yes yeah, so we do take age but it could detract yeah, so it's yeah, because like, it's a brand new. When movie. we're comparing it to older films, we've got yeah. to remember. How does it stand out compared to the ones they come out now? Wise, they're around now. now. It's, it's one of film. the best ones. Uh, like, it's up. Yeah, there. It there's is not good. really many that have done good, better yeah. CGI in the last few years. Like, there will be some, but not many. Yeah, it is, it is decent. It's up there. Um, so, it'll probably age reasonably well. Um, and I, I think I think the gripe with the makeup is kind of one of those where it's like, it. It's one decision that I just didn't like. It reinforced it by the fact that when I, that I think I, I think maybe mm. even of her own accord, Faye said, um, "Did you notice that she was like kind of weirdly glamorous?" <laughs> yeah. Look for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out a number. I'm gonna throw out the number eight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I looking at some of those nines and again, thinking probably doesn't. Some of those nines really are like. Okay. Like here's, the thing. here's my argument for why it's so good. Okay, sorry. Here's my argument for why it's so good. The uh, the the 
the way you can see the emotion and the expressions in the faces of the mm. mocap designs, so the the CGI of the face yeah. is ridiculous. Like you really can feel the performance come through in the face, and that is good CGI. That. Yeah, I think my the reason why it's not higher based on that is just because I feel like Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I remember when that came out, people being like, "Wow." This is groundbreaking. This is, this, like Rise obviously did a lot for mocap, but Dawn people are like that has gone up a okay. level. So I feel like the jump from Rise to Dawn is. I think that that Dawn really did a lot visually, yeah. Yeah. whereas now the jumps aren't quite as severe, so it doesn't quite get into the nines or even you know. I 10. think I think it would be. I think it would. I think eight is the perfect score. For Give this. it an eight. I feel Chuck like I'm going to forgive the makeup thing because everything else is so good. Yeah. You know, um, okay, so next we have sound. This includes, we have two minutes to agree on rating out of 10, go. <laughs> well, obviously Score, we've got soundtrack, the birds. The birds. <laughs> we got them birds. Got the birds wearing too much makeup. <laughs> Don't forget about the birds <laughs> with their mascara. <laughs> um... Um, I don't have any idea as to what the sound was like. Do you remember being impressed? I feel, I feel like there is nothing to comment on. Uh, the vocal performances. That's performances. Yeah, it's okay. even got performance in yeah, the Yeah, that's word. still performance, isn't it? So yeah. is it a six? Is it just it's straight up average? Straight down the middle. I um, feel like six is becoming average. Sound right? is difficult because you feel like, can there be bad sound? I've only thought of one example where I was like, that is bad sound. Okay. And it was the soundtrack to the um, Suicide Squad, the first one. Bad was it? Yeah, I just remember they were like really going for cool, cool, yeah, yeah, like the cool, like bought... Tarantino y vibe yeah. or or like new, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. They were like yeah. trying to copy Guardians of the Galaxy, but it was somehow they fucked it up like it, it, it's okay. not even that hard to fuck that up like yeah. it's hard to fuck that up and it was just so out of place yeah okay. that's it but that's the only time i've ever thought the sound in a film has detracted from it so i think i think this is comfortably a six for me i just think like six is like yeah it, like what is there to yeah, say yeah it would have needed some more to really bring it up seven yeah. feels like a kind of like a, a kind of i like i enjoyed this film all right, it was fine, and I gave it a seven. Whereas I don't, I will name me mm. one thing sound wise. That all right, well, how about this? Show me your movie rankings. Then was the sound comparable to Citizen K? Was the sound co- no, no, no? This is accounting what for age, friend. Look, account for a hundred years is, in development. This is my argument for why it's a seven for sound. I feel like the plot, character, and dialogue are more sexy than the sound is seven is sexy. It's sexy, is it? Uh, uh, you know, you're saying like these. It, the plot, you're like, yeah, that's a six. Okay, all right, yeah, go on. I'll I go feel like that. it's a bit. The sound wasn't bad, or it wasn't even like below average. It was just it was didn't just didn't bad. notice. It's just it. non-existent. Sometimes it's better to not notice something than to notice it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine genre realization personally i think this falls very comfortably sorry finally we have genre realization neither of us have really ever understood this one but it's something like how does it compare to the rest of its genre we have two minutes to agree on a rating out of 10 go so this is where we've started to- ape horror <laughs> <laughs> ape fantasy <laughs> and it's not a porn category this is comfortably <laughs> behind king kong <laughs> <laughs> so so here's what i want to say genre realization became uh it began it was our favorite one to create and then it became our least favorite because <laughs> we just started doing classics and we had to give them all tens but finally genre realization is starting to come into so, its own we're starting to do films that are belong to genres yeah. not ape horror but they but haven't defined their, they haven't the defined whole their genre. genre. And this isn't going to define Unless the genre. Unless the genre is able. <laughs> Unless the genre is and I don't think shark it's... tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I think that <laughs> weather-related shark disasters, <laughs> Sharknado would do well. <laughs> um, I think that... I think that uh, okay, so what, is it what, just what, sci-fi? What genre is it? Is it just sci-fi? It's science fiction sure. to me. Like, it's like you take, you suspend some of the rules of science, what happens? And, and where does it stand? In well, the way? question is, does it get the Planet of the Apes buff? I would say Planet of the Apes as an entity is probably a, a 10. 
in terms of it, science fiction. Yeah, here's what I'm going to say. No, it doesn't get the buff because it's okay. not that we are just rating this film. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So, like, has it really... Do, where, where does it sit in comparison to the rest of the individual films? Sci-fi has some stinkers in it. Like, yeah, we mentioned oh, it when we did June. Bad genre particularly recent. Uh, yeah, I think it's... I think it's... For me, what did I give it? 7.8. So it's it's not going to be an 8 for sci-fi films. It's not a great sci-fi film. Yeah, but I don't think it's a 6 either. Which, no. So there you go. That's. I'm thinking 7. I I'm think thinking it's down the middle. It's a bit better than average. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so middle 7 out of 10 for genre oh, realisation. Okay. I'm interested to see. It's been a while since we've had one which isn't like really good, so this will be nice. Okay, so Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes has now been rated out of 10 in all nine categories using the Make Night system. We have ranked it the following... Fred Enjoyment, 7.8 out of 10. Jambo Enjoyment, 7.0 out of 10. Plot, 6. Character, 6. Dialogue, 6. Performance, 7. Visuals, 8. Sound, 7. Genre Realization, 7. Giving us an average score of 6.87 out of 10, which makes it the 18th greatest film of all time until further notice. Beautiful. Uh, here we go. I've got my exit script. Thanks so much for listening, Dave. It's got that Over well. an hour. <laughs> All right. Brilliant. Fred, do you want to say anything? Thanks, Dave. Under and above. <laughs>